many cool people. Okay, so let's take it back to the beginning, guys. We're here at SIGGRAPH 2019, and we're gonna be finding out together what it's all about. So SIGGRAPH is all about the latest and greatest software and hardware releases. Things like AI software, bleeding edge software. Nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills. We're just gonna be kind of taking a look, game development, VR, all kinds of crazy things. If you're into computer graphics, you're gonna love SIGGRAPH. So let's figure out what it is together. So as you can see, we have all kinds of booths to choose from. There's all kinds of cool things. And let's go pick some of these cool things to check out. Okay, this is really weird. This is, this is some face capture being captured just with the iPhone camera here using the iClone software. 3D face capture. Wow, that, okay. So here we are at the Reillusion booth. They're doing some live motion capture with their software. That's pretty cool. Not sure which person to look at. <laughs> And over here, we're going to take a look at the Box Enigma S3. This is running an i9900K, overclocked at 5.1 gigahertz, and is completely silent with the water cooling. You can also see that there's two NVIDIA Quadros in there, 24 gigabytes of VRAM in each of those. Yeah. It's Dwight. So here's my new chair setup. It's pretty nice, but uh, I don't know, maybe I need a few more RGBs. And here we have the tangent animation demo going on. Over here we have the finished film and next gen playing. And here you can see we have one of the actual asset scenes open in Blender. This is actually a custom build from Graphical that is running the Embry render engine. So this is being rendered with CPU. You probably wouldn't even be able to fit this scene in a GPU's VRAM. And it's also being denoised with the open image de denoiser from Intel to give you that instant clean image real quick. That's a feature that's coming soon to Blender but isn't there yet, the open AI denoiser. And this is all being rendered on the monster Intel CPU here. It's 112 core Xeon, 56 cores, crazy amounts of power. You can see it's actually using all those cores at the same time to render this in the viewport using Embry. I also want to mention that my coverage here at SIGGRAPH 2019 is sponsored by Intel. They flew me out here. And also, as you might see right here, little teaser for a very limited first ever CG Geek shirt. There'll be more info on that coming soon in a video, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, I'll stick with Blender. Over here we have the 14-core Intel system running with the RTX 2080, and we're running the After Effects benchmark here. This is going through and rendering all kinds of different effects in After Effects for a real real-world performance benchmark test. Of course, running on the custom-built Fusion system using the 14-core Intel CPU. And here we have an example of a scene rendered on the Xeon W3175X, a 28 core CPU processor, and its focus is kind of photorealistic. You guys can see that this looks like an actual video clip. No one would really be able to tell that this is even 3D rendered. So that's pretty cool. And of course we have to check out the Blender booth with Blender 2.8 being released just today. There's all kinds of buzz going on around here. If we come over here, 
we can see that we have Evie being displayed, rendering a scene from the new open film Spring. This is actually being rendered with Evie now, and uh, yeah, it's really hard to tell if there's anything actually different than Cycles, except for the fact that it's super fast. And uh, yeah, some really cool stuff going with Blender 2.8 being just released. So that was pretty awesome. We only had one day at the expo, but we got to check out a handful of pretty cool things. And now we're gonna be heading over to the Intel Create event where we'll meet up with some other cool people. The Blender booth was awesome. Tom's a really cool guy. He actually gave me a free t-shirt too. So that was pretty cool. But uh, he did say that my current shirt kind of stunk a BO and so I needed it, but it was still pretty cool. So this is really cool, guys. This is not your typical render farm. This is actually a real-time render farm. Using the Teradici software here, it's using cloud access to a very large Intel Xeon render farm. And all you need is a small basic computer, basically even a tablet or laptop can work. And you can edit scenes massive like this. This is actually the Moana scene from Disney. And it has over 150 billion objects in this scene. It's crazy big. And you can see here that it's rendering in real time when you switch around here, this is pretty crazy stuff and you get completely accurate colors and stuff too. Really accurate data coming right back to you through the web as you make changes is coming back to you in real time. And yeah, this file size is over 100 terabytes. So imagine trying to fit that on a personal hard drive. All right, so here we have some new um, tech for the Unreal Engine. This is all being powered by an 18-core Intel CPU. All the physics you see in this scene is now CPU-driven using a Chaos Engine. And then we also have a particle engine. This is called Niagara. This is handling all of the particle systems, again, being CPU-driven in this Unreal Engine here. So as you can tell, guys, this is pretty crazy here. So many cool people in such a small space, but I'm kind of losing my voice now, so we gotta wrap this up. See you later.